Raider Nation, we need this one. So if you want the Raiders to win, and I want you to prove to me and the entire nation that you bleed silver and black. So before we get into today's show, I need you to like the video for a little bit of luck for this Raiders team. Raider Nation, what's going on? You guys are watching the Raiders Report, and today's show presented by Black Sunday Shop. We're talking about Raiders gear up to 70% off. All you got to do is head over to blacksundayshop.com and make sure you use code Mitch if you want a free Raiders pin at checkout. Coming up here on today's show, we're going to be breaking down the Raiders Cowboys Week 12 game on Thanksgiving. And for those of you that don't know, this is a really important game to me because my girlfriend is a Cowboys fan and our rent is literally riding on this one. And I'm a little bit nervous because the Raiders have lost three straight games. They're sitting at 5-5. Five and five. The Cowboys are 7-3, and three, though. They just lost by 10 points to the Kansas City Chiefs. The last time that I saw the over-under in this game was at 50.5 and the Cowboys were 7.5 point favorites though shout out to pff their best bet of the week was the raiders covering that minus seven and a half doesn't mean they're gonna win but hey if you want to put some money down now when you look at the cowboys last five games they took down the new england patriots in an impressive 35 29 win in overtime then they beat the vikings 20 to 16 got whooped against the broncos beat the falcons and then lost to the chiefs so basically three and two the raiders last five games have been well much different story two big time wins up here and then since the bye Loss, loss, and another loss. I mean, it's been a tough, tough sled. Though, I do got to give a major shout out to the Raiders coin. For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, somebody flipped a coin for every single one of the Raiders games, and they have gotten every single one right. And the coin predicted that the Raiders are going to beat the Cowboys. So, man, maybe that's what I guess they're doing is flipping a coin on this show. So what I want you guys to do is predict the score between the Raiders and and the Cowboys, the over-under one more time is set at 50 and a half. The Cowboys are seven and a half point favorites. And at the very end of today's show, I'm actually going to go ahead and give you my score prediction in this game. And it's been a really tough one to wrap my mind around simply because the Cowboys, I do think, are actually the better team. But I just don't know if I can bet against Vegas, especially being here in Dallas. All right, let's look at the offensive side of the football now for both of these squads. The Raiders' total yards per game, 373, though it has been a much different offense the last three weeks. Then you got the Cowboys' offense, first in total yards per game. We know they can pass. We know they can run points per game third. If the Raiders want to get a little bit better, they have to be more productive, especially in the red zone. And I'm going to start pointing the finger at, yes, the quarterback, Derek Carr. If the Raiders want to win this game, he has to be elite. He has to be on top of his game, and he has to be peppering Darren Waller with targets. I better see Deshaun Jackson on the field a little bit more, and I want to see him be aggressive. Throw the ball down the field, Derek. Stop being scared. Stop being timid, and throw the freaking football down the field. Then you also have the other side of the football, Dak Prescott, where he definitely struggled last week. And if I'm the Raiders, if I'm Max Crosby and Nick Gakwe, I'm going to be pinning my ears back. I'm going to be coming after him because likely he's not going to have his top two targets, Amari Cooper or CeeDee Lamb, who is in right now the concussion protocol, which means it's going to be Cedric Wilson and Michael Gallup. Uh, Michael Gallup is another receiver that a lot of Raider fans should keep their eyes on because he's going to be a free agent this offseason. So who do you think is going to have the better game on Thanksgiving? giving if you believe it's going to be Dak Prescott type P if you believe it's going to be Derek Carr type C I'm really really hoping that it is C however I was going to say that I might go with P but that just sounds a little bit off now one of the goals here on today's show was I want to try to get to a hundred thousand subscribers and this would be a monumental thing for me because only one percent of all YouTube channels created get to 100k subs and I know we're going to get to it sooner rather than later but I'd rather it be sooner then later and I also want to be the very first Raiders channel to get to 100k so if you guys uh, support the channel if you really enjoy the Raiders report if you want to keep getting free videos every single day for free what I need you to do is hit the subscribe button and if you could tell your friends about it please go ahead and do so and if you want to join me for my watch party we're going to be live on Thanksgiving I can guarantee you that just like we are usually are I actually think my dad's going to be here too so seriously hit the sub button all right let's look at the defensive side of the football now where the Raiders, unfortunately, their points per game at 26.2, I actually don't really think is very fair simply because they've given up so many points the last few weeks because the offense has been 
terrible, but I still really truly believe the Raiders have close to a top 10 defense. Their defense is better than the Dallas Cowboys, but if you want to beat the Cowboys, you got to run the football. And I understand what it says, rushing yards per game, they're 10th best in the league, but this defense for Dallas is actually built more to stop the pass. You saw in the Denver Broncos game two weeks ago, if you can get physical and you can really pound the rock, you're going to give the Cowboys a lot of trouble. So I'm really looking for Josh Jacobs and Kenyon Drake to have a big game this upcoming week. Now, I, I always have my takes here about sports, this and that, this and that. But you know what? It's Thanksgiving, man. I got a lot to be thankful for. I'm excited to spend it with my dad, with my girlfriend's family. I'm hoping for a Raiders win. That would be pretty sweet. Probably would be the best dessert that I can end up getting. But for those of you that don't know, not that I don't like Thanksgiving, I do think it's a little bit overrated, but I am all about the dessert. So what I want you guys to do is let me know your favorite Thanksgiving desserts. For me, I love pumpkin roll. For those of you that don't know, like it's like pumpkin pie, but on steroids. Hey, I love pecan pie, I love apple pie. I love all big time desserts, but let me know what your favorite Thanksgiving dessert is. Now, maybe for those of you out there, you're like, man, if I eat all these desserts, I'm going to have to go from a medium to a large or heck, maybe even an extra large. Luckily for you, Black Sunday Shop has all awesome shirts available and up to 70, yes, I said 70% off, BlackSundayShop.com. You better go ahead and get the deals because it's going to go quick. Now, maybe you don't need a t-shirt, it's getting cooler outside, and you want a hoodie. Guess what? They got hoodies, and the brand is Carhartt. For those of you who don't know, Carhartt is an amazing brand. Raiders gear up to 70% off. BlackSundayShop.com, that code is going to be, or that link, excuse me, is going to be available for you all in the description and in the comments. Well, what about hats? They also have really dope hats. They got some brand new snapbacks as well. And if you want to use code Mitch at checkout, you're also going to be able to get a free pin. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. Use code Mitch to get a free pin. And I think the other cool thing that they got going on, if you spend over $100, which some people are like, oh, wow, $100, that's a lot. If you spend over $100, they're also going to throw in a free bandana. So you can get a free pin. You can also get a free bandana. If you want to be a big baller and spend over $200, now I'll also say this. If you spend over $200, you're going to get a lot of stuff. So be ready. You can really stock some stuffing. All right. I always say that, stuff some stockings, I'll get it right sooner or later. But if you spend over $200, you get a cinch bag, a bandana, and two patches, 100% free, 70% off, shout at the Black Sunday Shop. Look at the link down there below, blacksundayshop.com. Go ahead and get hooked up for the holiday season. So we're going to keep rolling here for my Raiders versus Cowboys preview. We're going to also look at some injuries coming up here in a little bit. I'll give you my score prediction because this is a must, yes, a must-win game for this Raiders squad. So let's look at some of these injuries that Las Vegas has going on. And this is according to the Monday injury report because, believe it or not, I'm actually filming this on Tuesday because I'm off on Wednesday. But Daniel Carlson did not participate. Kenya Drake, full participant. Brandon Faison, full participant. Nick Wachowski, the only guy that I do not anticipate playing this week is, in fact, Nick Wachowski that you see on screen. And then the next four players, Gakwe, Keyshawn, Jalen Richard and John Simpson. Richard is going to play. Gakwe is going to play. I don't anticipate we see Keyshawn Nixon. And then John Simpson, I would consider him a little bit more doubtful than probable dealing with an oblique strain. Now, shout out to my man, Tom Downey, who he actually gave me an injury report inside scoop on the Cowboys. But also, he uh, just had a brand new baby girl. So I know this game is probably going to be the first time he comes back to work since having his new baby girl. But anyway, Randy Gregory, Demarcus Lawrence, Neville Gallimore, they're on IR. They're not going to be playing in this one. And then you got Maurice Kennedy, Brett Urban, Blake Jarwin, Josh Ball. Also, some other injuries to keep you guys up to date on because probably the top one that you guys are going to be worried about is Amari Cooper, who's dealing with an injury. He's probably not going to be playing or uh, COVID, excuse me. He's not going to be able to go in this one. And then also C.D. Lamb, he's in the concussion protocol. So don't expect either of those top two receivers to be playing this week against the Raiders, which that's kind of what we need, man. We really need that because this defense needs to be able to shut down Dallas because I am drastically worried about the Raiders' overall offensive performance. The other thing that we're going to talk about here is the NFL playoff picture because when I started the show off, I wanted you to like the video because I want the Raiders to win. And I'm already so sick and tired of hearing people say, let's tank the rest of the year, season's over, this and that. 
Do you guys not watch football? Do you not realize that teams that have gone 9-7, and 7-9 seven, seven and nine have made the playoffs before and made deep playoff runs? So, yes, it's been a tough stretch of games here, but I am not going to give up hope. So, when I look at some of these games, I'm going to tell you who I think the Raiders should be, who Raider fans should be rooting for, but we're also going to be looking at the AFC West. So, as it stands right now, the Chiefs, 7-4. and four. They're, the, they're the leaders of the division, despite having kind of a rough start to the season. The Chargers are sitting at 6-4. and four. The Raiders, the Broncos, both at 5-5. Five and five. In terms of these games going on this week, the Chiefs are actually on a Week 12 bye. Raiders up against the Cowboys. Chargers at the Broncos. If the Chargers beat Denver, they will be the new leader in the AFC West. Now, again, back to the AFC playoff picture here because a lot of times I get asked, well, what game should I be rooting for? What game should I be watching? Well, I always tell you, if you can watch as many games as humanly possible, that's what I encourage. But here are the teams that I am rooting for this week. I'm going to be rooting for the New Orleans Saints, who are home up against the Bills, because the Bills have been struggling. If they lose, they might actually be falling out of that playoff picture. Bengals up against the Steelers, because the Raiders have the tiebreaker over Pittsburgh. We don't have it against Cincy, so in a world where... Maybe the Raiders and Steelers are close. Maybe the Raiders tie a game. We'll have the tiebreaker. Buccaneers up against the Colts. I hate root for Tom Brady. However, Indy, they're playing some hot football, and the Raiders will be playing them later on in the year. Ravens up against the Browns. The Raiders have the tiebreaker over Baltimore. And Cleveland and Las Vegas, I could see being somewhere around the same record. Luckily, the Raiders do play Cleveland. And then the Titans at the Patriots. Both teams lead in their division. And I'm going to end up rooting for the Titans because the Patriots at 7-4 and four are closer than the Titans at 8-3. and three. Now, those are the teams that you should root for but we're going to go back to this one predict the score Raiders Cowboys and like I said earlier if I'm being honest with you I think the Cowboys are a better football team and if they had Amari Cooper and if they had CeeDee Lamb I probably would take the Cowboys to win however I refuse and I refuse to pick Dallas in this one give me the Raiders 24-21 in a defensive battle. I want to be able to rub it in my girlfriend's face. You know what I'm talking about. And especially if the Raiders win this game here. I am also worried because I've made multiple bets when the Raiders were 5-2 and two entering their bye. The bet that I made was if the Raiders lose this game, I got to wear a freaking Cowboys jersey. Tom's going to want me to wear it. I know my girlfriend's going to want me to wear it. I made the bet when we were 5-2 and two and I was feeling confident. Now... I don't know, man. I'm getting a little bit more nervous. So I need you guys to have my back. So if you see a picture of me with a Cowboys jersey on, it's because I made a bet. Now, hopefully that never happens. And hopefully I got to make Tom wear a Raiders jersey. I'm going to make Alex, my girlfriend, also wear a Raiders jersey. I'm going to be posting it on Twitter. I'm going to be posting it on Instagram at MitchellRens365. And if anybody wants to hang out with me uh, this week, I, I, I always tell people like, hey, I'm going to be in Dallas or I live in Dallas. And if you're coming to Dallas, then guess what? I want you to come check out an event. It's actually really close to the AT&T Stadium. I believe the address is 1010 Collins, something like that. The information is at chatsports.com slash Texas Takeover. I'm going to be hanging out with the nation. Shout out to Jeremy for getting that up on screen. Located right across the street from AT&T Stadium at 1010 Collins Event Center. Come hang out with me. Come out hang out with the nation. Last time I checked, there was over like over like 300 people going to be there. It's going to be wild. We're trying to take over Texas. Chatsports.com says Texas Takeover. And please like the video for a Raiders win.